Hi, I'm Victor from DiviMundo.com and in this brief tutorial I will show you how to hide the default DV footer on all pages and posts on your website or on specific pages and posts and we will do it without using a single line of CSS. So let's go! To hide the default DV footer I'll go to my WordPress dashboard and I'll hover Divi and click Theme Builder. Now I want to hide the footer on the entire website, so on all pages and posts and archive pages, etc. Then I'll find the Add Global Footer box, and to the right of it, I'll click the eye to hide it. So the eye should be crossed out like this. And now I click Save Changes, and I go back to my page and refresh it. And now you can see that the footer is gone. And the same result should come if I go to any other page, like the contact page. Yes, the default footer is gone there too. How to hide the footer on specific pages or posts. Let's head back to the Divi theme builder again. Now I will remove the crossed out eye and display the footer on all pages again. But now I will create a new template. I will choose specific pages and in this case let's say the contact page and maybe the about page should be applied in this template and now I can just cross out the eye again hide on front end for the footer and I'll click save changes if I head back to the page again I'll click home and if I scroll down I can see the default footer again but if I go to the About Me page, and I scroll down, you can see that the default footer is actually hidden. The same thing should go for the, I think it was the Contact Me page. Yes, the footer is gone there too. So you can fine tune this a lot. If you click the cog wheel, we go back to the settings. You can choose other pages to apply this to. You can choose children of specific pages, and you can choose to hide it on all posts or um, specific categories and tags and or specific posts you can also tweak it for archive pages like category pages and tags pages and on custom post types and you can also for example remove the footer on your 404 arrow page or the search result page so this is really granular you can tweak it however you like that's all for today let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials coming your way. Thanks for watching.